My name is Martin Chivers, so today I'm going to show you a couple of desserts and uh, how we assemble them. Um, you know, what I like in a dessert is something nice and crispy. So for this one we've got, you know, a sugar chocolate um, twill, some, some of the soil that we made, um, cherry compote, cherry, cherry gel, and then a chocolate mousse and vanilla cream. A bit of a variation on the Black Forest kind of thing. And uh, we have some cherry sorbet, cherry ice cream to go with it as well, and a little cherry um, paper, yeah? crispy paper. Yeah, we'll take one of our little sugar chocolate tubes. We're going to place a sponge, place that on to the bottom. So a little bit of a soil for crunchy texture. I've got a chocolate cream, but this is a light ganache. So we make a ganache and then we just fold a little bit of cream in at the end. So I'm going to pipe in the base. I got some cherries, fresh cherries, a little bit of sugar, lemon juice. We'll take a few of the cherries, drop those in. I've got some Chantilly cream, building up those layers. So here I've got a very light cherry jelly, which I put in the espuma. Here I've got some little cherry jelly spheres. They're made with cherry puree, a little bit of agar and gelatin. I'm going to take a few more of my cherries as well. Some more soil, no cherry gel, put a couple of mint, a little bit of lemon, Zest, we're just going to put over the top and then our ice cream. A finish with a little cherry paper. So we have a sugar chocolate twill, and then in the bottom we have a chocolate sponge soaked with cherry syrup, finished with a light chocolate ganache, cherries cooked with lemon thyme, whipped cream, and a jelly mousse, finished with a cherry ice cream, jelly spheres, and cherry paper. The next dish we have is a raspberry dish. Um, so we have a freeze-dried raspberry and white chocolate sponge and then a chocolate cremeau. We're going to place that on a jelly. Uh, then we have some um, raspberry um, cremeau here, our spheres. A little raspberry gel, freeze-dried raspberry, a little chocolate tube and then we're going to fill that with a raspberry cream and decorate with some candied lemon. Normally I, you know, I think about the flavours that we're going to use and then try and draw up a picture in my mind and on paper I normally you know, make some sketches and drawings. If you put it on paper, you know, it gives you a good idea of what you're going to do. Uh, if you don't, then you might forget something, and when you actually come to make that dish, you know, your your idea completely changes. So, uh, I think it's good to write it down and uh, draw some pictures and, and move on from there until you perfect it. Yeah. Uh, we have a raspberry jelly. This is made with um, vegetable gelatin. So the chocolate I've used here is a, a Madagascar, 67% uh, Calibo chocolate. Yeah. I'm going to take some raspberry gel. It's going to gel the plate. This is a raspberry cremeau, so similar to a lemon, but we're using raspberry puree, egg yolks, and then it's set with some gelatine and butter. I've got some candied lemon. I've done the same there with a lime. Again, we can put a little mint leaf. So a little chocolate tube. Yeah. So here I brushed it with a cocoa butter, scratched it, and put some gold powder. Spread the chocolate and rolled up the plastic to form a tube. Take your raspberry cream and fill up. I'm going to dip the ends in freeze-dried raspberry. So here's our, our raspberry dish. It's a, a raspberry jelly with vegetable gelatin, white chocolate and freeze-dried raspberry sponge. And then we have the, the chocolate crema with a chocolate tube filled with raspberry cream and raspberry crema on the plate and gel. Mm -hmm.